Welcome to the Teed Hayes Tip of the Week. This week we're going to talk about earthquakes and the importance of having in every house an earthquake kit. So first off, there's a lot of information out there on the internet what to do in an earthquake. A couple of different schools of thought. We decided to go ask the experts to help you know exactly what to do in case of an earthquake. Take it away, Mike. It's especially important to be prepared in Marin County and San Francisco, given that the San Andreas runs right through both areas. In the event of an earthquake, it's especially important for folks to first be prepared, know what to do, and largely that consists of, when indoors, duck and cover. Very simple, get under something sturdy to protect yourself from any kind of falling debris. Some folks have heard of the triangle, a place to protect themselves where they get next to a sturdy object. In the United States, building construction is such that uh, you're safer by getting under an object as opposed to next to an object. Some folks uh, have ingrained in them that uh, getting under a doorway would be beneficial, uh, thinking that the framework of the doorway can help protect them. And uh, in actuality, it's still better to get under something, some object, hopefully away from a wall and away from any glass that may break. Breaking glass is one of the leading causes of injury during an actual earthquake event. There's so much information out there and available that it's hard for the average person to sift through. One of the best resources that you can use is the internet, but be very careful in terms of, of where you go. If you rely on some of the more um, uh, recognized sites, such as FEMA.gov, uh, that's a very good clearinghouse for information related to earthquake safety. Stay with the standards. Uh, don't branch off into too many of the blogs or other areas. You'll always want to be prepared for the aftermath. And that means good preparation on the front end. Make sure that you've got an earthquake survival kit. Make sure that your family has a plan in place so that you can rendezvous and contact one another if something should happen. So as Mike said, having an earthquake kit is really important. Everyone should have one. We're gonna show you where to go and now we're gonna have Rick T, take us through what exactly is in an earthquake kit. We are now in front of a table full of everything that was in this five gallon bucket. This is an earthquake care kit. You can buy these at www.quakecare.com. Just to give you an idea of what's in this bucket. This is a three day power bar, if you can imagine gnawing on this for three days. Here is an all-purpose tool. This you can chop with, you can claw and pry windows and doors open. There are four dust masks. If you're underneath a pile of rubble, you'll probably need these gloves to move a lot of the timbers and sheetrock and things like that that are in your way. These are ponchos. There are tissues. This happens to be a shelter-in-place plastic. So in case you're in one room in your house and a lot of dust is coming in, you just tape this with this gray duct tape over those windows, doors, and openings that you want to keep the dust out of. You've got candles, you've got matches, you've got a uh, safety kit, and a really important flashlight. And you can believe it, these silver things are blankets, and there's four of them. Can you imagine a blanket wrapped in this little plastic container? But if you've ever done a triathlon like I've done a few, they give you these at the end of a race, especially in the weather when it's like 35, 40 degrees or it's raining. They'll always have these, these metallic looking sheets that you put over yourself and they hold your body warmth in. And last, we've got these three packs of water and there are four of them. All of this stuff has a five year shelf life and I, I really do urge everybody to go out and get one of these earthquake kits and, and take it seriously. We've seen things happen in Haiti. We've seen stuff happen in Chile. And you know what? We're, we're in a zone where this kind of stuff happens and I think it's really important. And I'd say something for $99, it, it provides so much safety for you and your family. And more importantly, if you really think about this, if you did get one of these, you'd probably spend a little more time focusing on the need and then in that moment where it happens, instead of panicking, you'll know exactly what to do. You'll know where your kid is, you'll run to it, and I hope that you'll become more educated on this process and be safe in the next earthquake, which I hope does not happen. This is a five-year shelf life, and I hope this expires. Take care.